What's up guys, today I wanted to address a question that I get asked in every single video and that is how do I edit on top of the primary timeline and to do that when you're selecting your video clips or the parts you want to use you have to use a shortcut Q to import it on top of the primary timeline so I've selected this bit of video footage right here and I'm going to press Q and that's going to drop it onto the top of my timeline and say I had a video clip on the primary timeline and I wanted to bring it above it, what you have to do is press P and then this is gonna allow you to drag your video clips on top of the timeline. It probably won't let you do it if you have audio and other things attached to it once it's in the primary timeline. So starting to edit with Q is a lot better. So the reason why I mainly edit on top of the primary timeline is because it gives you complete control over the edit. It's a lot better when you're creating more complex like cinematic edits, when you're overlaying transitions and sound effects. When you come back to change things in your edit, everything is gonna stay in its place. Nothing's gonna get messed up. Whereas when you're editing on the primary timeline, because it's like magnetic and it moves your video clips around, sometimes when you wanna change bits that you've already edited, it will move around a bunch of your sound effects and it's just gonna mess up your edit so that's why I pretty much stopped editing on the primary timeline altogether. The only time I really use the primary timeline is when I'm editing like really long video clips to split up the audio, uh, like a screen recorded tutorial or a vlog. That's when it's really good when you've got longer video clips and you wanna quickly cut it up in between. So it, it definitely has its use. I find it really annoying for like editing anything else to be honest. Uh, so I tend to stay away from it. But yeah, I hope that cleared up any of the questions people have about that. If you have any other questions, I will be doing some more like beginner basic tutorial videos on Final Cut Pro. So let me know in the comments if you want to, if you have any more questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.